Chances are you'll have heard the phrase craft beer used more and more these days in phrases such as Hey hipster, drain pour that PBR and get some craft beer in you. Or, for example, Brewed Awakening, BC's premier craft beer blog, only at theprovince.com slash beer. Here's another phrase you may have heard recently, Vancouver Craft Beer Week. So what is craft beer? Basically, it's all natural beer, full of flavor. Brewed as beer had been brewed for centuries before pale, fizzy lager and marketing companies took over the world in the 20th century. Well, to us, I think craft beer is a beer that's handcrafted. Like, uh, if, if you imagine the craft fair on Salt Spring Island, all the, all the items for sale there have been produced by hand by people who love what they're doing, and we're the same. Brewing uh, kind of for yourself, uh, kind of full flavored range of beers. So it's not really checking with the market to see what the market wants, it's just brewing beers that I think uh, the brewers themselves would like to drink. Craft beer is pure ingredients using the basic, the water, the barley, you know, rye, um, coarse hops, and yeast. That's it. Recent government figures show that sales in the craft beer sector have been increasing at a double digit rate for years now and are approaching a 20% share of BC's beer market. Nearby is the R&B Brewing Company, which has witnessed the craft beer scene in Vancouver and BC develop over its 16 years of business. In Vancouver, it was just us and Storm when we opened up who were breweries, um, and there's so many more now. If you've not yet tried what beer should taste like, it's as simple as picking up a bottle of local brew at your local liquor store, or even better, buying a pint at your local craft beer tap house, or even better still, buying some draft to go at your local brewery. Well, I think a lot of the breweries are kind of stepping up their quality, so the beer is tasting, you know, a little bit better. And then I think people are just really kind of, they're paying more attention to food, and I think part of that is they're paying attention to what they're drinking as well. I think craft beer has got so much more flavor. Um, when you think about what we have out there, you think of any of the places we go to nowadays, there's flavor, there's variety, there's quality. Uh, you're paying the same price. When you think about a lot of times you're paying five to six dollars for a pint, whether it be a Molson's Canadian, whether it be a Steamworks Pilsner, whether it be an R&B Eastside Bitter, if you have a choice, why not go for something that's got quality? New breweries are opening up all the time and a craft beer scene is rapidly developing. Because it has great flavor and taste. It's uh, the, it used to be, when I first came over here in the end of the 80s, there was, I think, the Molson and the Bats had 95% of the market share. Um, and if you look at their ads, the, beer, the words they use to describe flavor aren't flavor words. They're cold, crisp, you know. Um, we use words that describe flavor and I think people are looking for that these days. Breweries are embracing the craft beer community directly by opening storefronts like this one at Parallel 49 where consumers can come and sample a beer, buy a bottle to take away or even buy a jug of draft beer to take home in a refillable container known as a growler. Parallel 49 brewmaster Graham Witt says this is a great idea because craft beer lovers can interact with staff at the brewery and oftentimes the brewer himself. And take advantage of Vancouver Craft Beer Week. The week closes with a two night beer festival on Friday and Saturday, which is a great way to sample a range of beer from around BC and beyond. For all the latest news and reviews on BC craft beer and more, check out the Brewed Awakening blog at theprovince.com slash beer. For the province, I'm Jan Zeschke.